Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a Eid makeup look. Do excuse my face. It's actually half five in the morning. While it was half five when I got in here, it's probably about 6 a.m. now. Um, I didn't go back to sleep after Siri. It's still Ramadan, so Ramadan Kareem. But if you are watching this on Eid day or the night before Eid for some inspo, then Eid Mubarak. Hope you have a blessed day. Don't know how it's going to pan out with Covid. But yeah, don't watch my hair. <laughs> because again, sis hasn't sleep, sleeping, hasn't slept. So yeah. I'm going to prime my face with the Fenty primer. And... I'm just going to dot that over my face. Now that I've primed my face, I'm going to go in straight into my brows. And what shall I use? Okay, yeah. I'm going to use the Lottie London Arch Rival Micro Blade Effect Eyebrow Pen going to make some hair like strokes with that in just the sparser areas of my brow it's so early I don't even know where my tripod is I've got my camera stacked on a few boxes right now we're going to conceal using the Kevin Aquan skin enhancer in SX07 And because it is a creamy, creamy product, I don't want to put too heavy a hand on the lid. I've got um, a bit of a scar in between my brows, which I had concealed prior to recording, which I didn't used to have. Obviously, you don't just be born with a scar. Um, but I'm going to do a home chemical peel. I've ordered all the stuff for it tonight. Maybe I did that because I was tired, I don't know, but I've ordered a lot of chemical peel pre-care and post-care too and then I'm going to try to do it when all that stuff arrives because people are out here trying to charge me like £750 to have the scar removed so let's see if we can do it by ourselves and if I can I'll try and record it, vlog it and update you guys. I'm going to be using the Nude Huda Beauty Palette with a clean crease brush. Obviously, I'm using a dirty one because the sun's just come out. Um, let's not judge though. We don't judge on this page, this channel. So I'm just going to buff that concealer down and then I'm going to start with my transition shade. I'm going to apply Teddy into my crease and just a little bit above it. Like so. I'm do that on the other side and then we're going to buff that out. Also, I'm wearing my own lenses in the shade Eurodyne. And I'm excited to announce I've got two new shades landing. I might do a giveaway on, on those new shades. So now that we've put that where we want it, I'm going to use another dirty brush, which is my MAC 217. And I'm just going to buff that out to remove any harshness. I've been derma rolling my face lately and... Um, I love it. I demo rolled it a few hours ago actually. So I'm just gonna apply a bit more Teddy to intensify that a bit and I'm going to apply that more towards the outer V and more onto the lid. I don't know if I'm making sense but like I said I haven't slept. I don't know what time it is, I don't know what day it is. I just don't know anymore. I just want to be me. Go with a JC. Let's use Love Bite, which is like the darkest, deepest purple in this palette. I'm going to use a Morphe E118 brush. I'm going to apply that to my outer view. 
doesn't have to be neat right now we're going to blend it all and make it look pretty buff that in and dip back into love bite and just build on that because i want it more deep should i have to go deeper or go a little deeper with the love bite Mm, I like it. I'm going to apply the shade Beer into the inner corner of my eyelid to create um, a soft opening. I don't even know if that's making sense but that's what we're doing. We want to open that area up a bit. I'm going to apply Excite which is one of her foil shadows so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to use my sigma eye shading e55 brush i'm just oh oh i don't know if you can see that but i dipped into it a bit hard i'm gonna dab that into it oh god i'm expecting it to come out that strong okay It'll, okay we're gonna work with it we're gonna fix it that's 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 why these tutorials exist so you can watch how i fix it so if it happens to you, you know what, we'll to fix it. Sis, hold on. I, I didn't know you were playing like this with this. It's enough of the brush, we're going to use our finger now. And I'm just going to use my ring finger and blend that. It's okay. It's okay. Stay calm. It's Eid. we got to stay calm. we got to stay calm. Oh, it's not bad at all anymore. And I'm just going to blend that as well. I'm going to go in with the shade Lace now. And I'm going to apply that where Bear and the Glitter sort of meet. I've got quite a bit of fallout so I'm going to wipe that away. I'm just going to dip into Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette. And I'm going to go into the shade Black Truffle. I'm going to just line up an eyeliner because i like my eyeliner to be very soft and this doesn't have to be too neat because we're gonna buff that out as well now i'm using that same brush that i used to apply love bite in the outer v to soften out that black just create a tiny little wing like that. Do the same on the other side. Kiss lashes in soiree or soul soiree. And I'm just gonna find some eyelash glue and apply those. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's apply a bit of love bite to the bottom lash line. I'm going to use the Rimmel pencil eyeliner pencil in nude. I think it's new though, I can't really see the writing no more. There's no point even doing all of that because you won't be able to see it. I'm just going to apply that to my waterline because I want my eyes to open up. I'm going to use the Cinema Secrets foundation. It's, it's not on there normal, but it's in the shade 30265A. I'm going to use my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush and I'm just going to push that into my skin. Sis, so just keep your flyways to yourself. Now I'm going to apply the Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer in SX04. Just patting it on and then I'm gradually going to get closer to my lower lash line but not too close because you know I want that love bite shade to stay prominent now that that's sort of in the place I want it I'm just going to use my beauty blender to buff it into the skin I'm just going to buff out the edges and then using a brush I'm going to uh, buff out under the lash line. I'm going to use the Morphe 332 brush and I'm just going to buff out the concealer under the lash line. Now we're going to set everything in place. So I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Pound Cake um, powder. 
few K's up. I'm almost finished and I'll come inside, okay? Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You make me happy, you know that. Mm -hmm. I love you. Okay. Now going to apply the Anastasia uh, the Anastasia contour kit in medium to tan. Just applying that to all my usual areas, so my jawline, my forehead, and I'm going to apply it to my nose now too. I like to apply it here as well, just so it makes my jaw pop a bit more. We all love illusions. Using a Real Techniques face brush, I don't know, part of their four piece face set. I'm going to use the Morphe M431 brush to apply a bit more highlight in the inner corner of my eye. The Il Maquillage highlighter in good as hell. I like to use a little eyeliner brush and I apply that to my bridge here and on the tip of my nose. Just like that. I'm gonna apply that on my Cupid's bow. I love this highlighter now. It's my everyday highlighter now. Like, it's such a beautiful highlighter. I'm gonna say highlighter 70 times. Such a beautiful highlighter. You know, I thought I'd get um, an Insta. What's it called? thumbnail <laughs> wow who is she i don't know i don't think i'm gonna put that on what i really do is use the um, mac studio fix powder in nc41 which is like this sort of shade and i'm going to apply that as my blush because it's a bit warmer than me it's not a blusher but it will act like a natural sort of warmer shade on my face does that make sense i don't know lips 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 what color should i do my lipstick zach blue blue then i'd look funny everyone has red lips i might use brown or more pinky lips yeah Okay, so I'm going to use the MAC Strip Down Pencil and I'm going to line my lips and then I'm going to apply and focus. Here I am, here I am, how do you do? There she is. I'm going to apply Strip Down as my lip liner and then I'm going to apply my every every time i wear makeup if i wear full face if i wear lipstick this is the combo i'm always wearing so it'd be a bit of velvet teddy and honey love on top and if i want to gloss it up i put a bit of clear coat on top which i might actually do today do you what it's on my lips dick stays on longer is it a normal pencil it's a lip pencil Velvet Teddy on top, or personal Velvet Teddy's on the low. So I'm just going to use a brush to apply that. Now you could leave it with just Velvet Teddy and strip down but I like to add a bit of Honey Love just to give my lips more dimension. And then I'm gonna go in with Honey Love just in the center of my lip. Just where I want them highlighted. Morphe continue the setting spray. And that's it, that's the final look. Um, it's so pretty. <laughs> and this, even though it's more maroony, pinky, mauvey shades, reddish even, um, 
you can actually pair it up with any outfit you can wear it with black you can wear it with like brown just do your makeup how you want it doesn't always have to match your outfit okay i said it it doesn't have to match okay too much i hate jewelry i actually hate jewelry these are coming off um i think i bought these from this guy did ages ago but yeah i feel all nice i feel like i don't even need sleep who needs sleep and you can just cover it up go out there live your best life if you wanted to put a clear lip gloss on you can this is just a miss 41 from like super drug or boots or something i like to take it on the back of my hand i hate putting clear lip gloss directly onto lips i don't know it's just me dab it on and she's now glossy and again i'd only apply that to the areas that I applied the honey love the areas i want to put put pop i was gonna go to sleep after this but i need to like walk around my house looking at this for a bit like i need people to appreciate me i need people to be like you're not a slob all the time at home like you know it is what it is.